What is up everyone? Old Willow Scrub here. We are back with more Cults of Saga book toolkits. Would have been a little um, sooner, but my computer decided to act all weird. Okay, the map for this time is going to be Stairway to the Gods. It's a, I actually really like the map, all four areas. It offers a lot of unique opportunities for books. We're going against um, Borvolt. He was the one from Phoenixion, the fire guy. And the book we're going to be showcasing today is actually a book I created yesterday. Or a couple days ago. It was originally called Fire, and then I changed it to Fire Up. And this is the, the, the revision it's at right now. You can obviously change a lot of things you want. Like, I'm not too keen on, on Bogger just yet. It, it all depends on which book he uses, because he can destroy this thing super quick. Because he could use one or two books. But let's look at Fired Up. So first, we have two Brass Idols, which are... Uh, defensive global ability creatures and this one is all scepters draw two cards when drawing instead of one so like when your turn comes and you draw a card you draw two this this card really does help speed up things getting cards into your hand okay um, let's look at the next card Four Barbarians. These are 50-40 creatures that have Immediate. Uh, immediate means that as soon as you put it down, you can immediately change the terrain type. If you have the Mana Ford, you can level up the land if you have the Mana Ford. You can move the creature too if you have the Mana Ford. One nifty ability about Barbarian, or I guess Immediate Creatures in general, is if you invade a creature, like let's say you landed on an enemy, and you put Barbarian down, and you defeated that creature. After that battle, you can actually move Barbarian to another land. So if they were two creatures, enemy creatures next to each other, you can literally attack one, and then, if successful, move on to the next one to attack. That's one of the really great abilities about Barbarian, is his ability to do that. The next creature is Boggart. And the only reason why I'm not too keen on Bogger just yet is it's only 30 HP. And depending on what book the guy uses, he has scroll cards. The thing I found out about scrolls, and I never knew this, is they do base HP damage. Similar to how creatures with um, Penetrate can take out your creature. It ignores land bonuses. So if he uses a 30 attack scroll card, I only have 30 HP, it's instantly destroyed unless I can increase its HP with another card. But otherwise, without scroll attacks, this thing is a monster. It's a 1030 creature, and its ability is it doubles the toll value that it claims. Boggard on a regular land and if you level that up to five and have it in like the highest chain it could be is almost 2900 toll fee this thing will double that okay boggard is not something you want to mess with unless you're you're for sure you can take it out okay that's one of the greatest things is it doubles that toll value the main heavy hitter is a cross between Coloid and Magma Avatar, but Coloid is a 30-30 creature that in battle, its strength and HP is added by 10 for each fire territory the user controls. So if you use, if you control 10 fire territories, its strength and HP goes up in battle 100. And if they use a spell or ability to, to uh, or a territory ability 
to destroy Colloid. For every fire territory you own, uh, you will gain 50 times that in mana. So again, if you have the same 10 territories and somebody destroys it with like a spell or a territory ability, you would gain 500 mana from that. Okay, this dude is a, is a heavy hitter. I love him. Next we have Hive Queen. It's a 2040 Ant Hive Queen. Uh, and its territory ability is adds Hive Worker to user's hand. You really only need one in play, but having two, in my opinion, in the right and the left territory, in the areas, it's really nice. And the thing about Hive Worker is, in battle, its strength and HP equals number of Hive Workers in play times 10. Okay, these Hive Workers, even though they're 20-20 they're creatures and you can destroy them with a magic bolt, you know, if there's a ton of them out there, it could be really hard to take it down. You know? Having, having, like, if you had enough, which isn't really hard to put them out there, you can have a 60-60 in battle. It's a little tricky for some. Next we have jack o -Lantern. It attacks last, and its bonus is steal uh, own remaining base HP times 2 in magic from the enemy. One way you can you can do this is like if you have jack o lantern near an enemy, you can paralyze that enemy so the enemy can't attack, and you attack with jack o lantern, and jack o lantern would gain a hundred will let you steal 120 magic from your enemy. You know that's one of the ways you can do it. Uh, not bad like if you had mutation to give it plus 20. So make its HP 80 and just keep going from there. The next creature we have, and the last creature, is Magma Avatar. Like Coloid, but a little differently. In battle, its strength and HP is equal to the number of fire and earth lands owned by user times 15. The reason why I like Coloid more is its additive. Its blank territories gives you plus 10, you know, strength and HP. Even though this one gives you 15 strength and HP, it's equal to that, not added. So if you only have two, then this is a 30-30. Whereas with Coloid, it would make it a 50-50. Alright, let's look at the items. There's only four, or eight, sorry. Uh, four counter amulets. Your strength equals zero and reflects all non-scroll attacks. I did have fire shield, but brass idol. And I did have gold idol in there, and we're gonna look at him in a different book. But I don't really think gold idol works in this one, but I can't put a fire shield on him. Because what fire shield does is it'll neutralize the fire attack. And, if you equip it onto a fire creature, you neutralize all non-scroll attack. Well, I certainly can't use that on Brass Idol. And Magma Avatar? By the time you can gain enough HP, you probably already won the game. Because, well, let's look at that now. Uh, strength equals number of fire creatures in play times 10 and HP equals number of Earth Creatures in play times 10. Well, let's say you have two Magma Avatars and one Jack-O-Lantern. You're gaining plus 30 HP. You know, giving him 50 HP, while wow, that's nice, I mean, Barbarian can take it out. But this is a great combo, it's Magma Avatar and Colloid, or Magma Avatar and... and Magma armor. You know, put this armor on anybody for when you're attacking. Okay, next card we have is this. Now we're starting with spells. It's Chariot. Move target creature belonging to user two spaces. 
and Cherry recycles the book. Great for moving a creature to a space you need, like Magma Avatar and Jack-o'-lantern. You need a fire and earth territory. Well, if I have a creature like Hive Worker, two spaces away from Earth, I can chariot him on Earth, and then I have the requirements, as long as I have you know, the fire requirement, which I usually do. Also great for attacking an enemy. The next spell we have is Conspiracy, which is great. User you can summon creatures for no magic cost if creatures of higher cost are already in play. Last until you reach the castle. The highest one we have is Magma Avatar, which is 100, plus the land requirements. So what that means is if I have Conspiracy out, and I have a Magma Avatar out, let's say that's the highest card I have out. Anything else I play, Mono Wise is free. Barbarian costs 90, but because he's under 100, it's free. Boggart is 40. You know, Coloid is 60. Hive Queen is 40, 10, 60. If an enemy has something higher than Magma Avatar, then every single creature in your book you can play for free if you have Conspiracy out. This is also used in another book we're going to be looking at, along with, with uh, Gold Idol pretty soon. The next card we have is Feast. All scepters gain number of territories in their possession times 50 magic. Uh, you can give your opponent a pretty good boost too, but if you can at least, if you're getting lucky and you can place stuff down like, you can place down a couple brass idols or a couple hive workers and and only placing down a few things, you can really gain a lot of magic really quickly. Uh, the next card we have is Land Drain. Steal mana from your enemy 20 times each of their possessed territories. So if they have 5 territories, you steal 100 mana. You know, 6 is 120, so on and so forth. Paralyzer. Paralyzer is so amazing for what it can do. It adds paralysis to target creature and double cast. So automatically, as soon as you play paralysis, you can play another card. Paralysis does two things, well, three things. First, your opponent can't attack. Like whatever, whatever creature you paralyze cannot attack. Secondly, they can't use items. So if you know that your creature without an item or even with something like magma armor can obliterate them, you're already looking at a bonus. And third is they can't use in battle abilities. For instance, you know, Coaloid, that doesn't trigger. Um, yeah. The person we're going against can use a creature called Salamander. If it gets attacked by a fire creature, which this is all fire, instead of basically getting destroyed, whatever damage it takes is added to its HP. Uh, giving a paralysis removes that ability. That ability won't trigger. Um, you know, if you have a creature that could negate fire attacks, like Volcanic Dragon, I think is one of them. If you paralyze it, you can kill it with anything in this book within reason. The next spell we have is Reincarnation. You discard all cards from your hand, and you draw an equal number of new cards from your book, and you double cast so you can play another spell. This is mostly needed for 
if you, if you can get it off in the first turn, and you have a really bad hand, like my first turn, I would love to see Brass Idol, Barbarian, uh, a Coloid, and Hive Workers, or at least one Hive Worker and you know like a Counter Amulet. Because Barbarian is is immediate, so I can turn that into a Fire, which means I have the Fire requirement for Coloid. Uh, Brass Idol will give me drawing, and then High Workers the same way with Fire, I can also move it. So if I don't get anything good on the first hand, but I have Reincarnation, it's kind of like if you played Magic the Gathering, it's like a mulligan. Uh, next card is Telekinosis. Adds enlightenment to user until next round, cycles to book. Enlightenment is basically as if you landed on a castle or a fort, and you can basically mess with any creature that you own. You can change the territory, you can level it up, you can exchange the creature, you can move the creature. You know, anything that you can normally do if you landed on the creature, or a fort, or a castle, you can do with Telegnosis. Next spell we have is Upheaval. Uh, transform target territory into a fire land. Little expensive, it's 160, but it immediately just turns it into the fire land, which is great. Like, if you have Brass Idol down on anything and you want it fire, you know, to get that, that first fire thing for Coloid. Boom. Another thing it's useful for is. Let's say you have like a level 4 Earthland, and Magma Avatar is on it. Technically, I would want everything Fire or Coloid, or even if Coloid was on it, let's say it was on a level 4 Multiland, which is actually easy in the first strip that you'll see in the, in the map. You know, as your level go- as your land level goes up, not only the cost for Upgrading it higher goes up, but also the cost in magic for transforming its type, you know, from multi-element to fire to whatever, that goes up exponentially. Upheaval, it's just 160. So it's a really great card to have. And then finally, four Wind of Hope. Draw two cards. So this is it's a really great drawing mechanic, you know, you have Wind of Hope, you have... Brass Idol, and hopefully you can get Reincarnation the first hand, you have something decent, use it. But yeah, hopefully I don't get uh, too screwed over. Again, we're going to be playing Horrible on uh, Stairway to the Gods. He's using Hellfire. No! Hellfire has... Scrolls. It has. I can't think of the creature's name, like Barnacle or something like that. It basically, it could put fog on a land, which would cut the um, toll fee in half. And it also has magic vaults. So he's going to attack my brass idols and my hive workers. So they're not going to be up for very long. But we'll see how we do. There's a scroll. I think everything needs Fireland right now in his hand. I know I saw two Coloids, and I think that Salamander does too. Draw your card. Follow the guidance of the card. What do we have? Okay, not too bad. Uh. We have Brass Idol, we have Barbarians, and the Paralyzer. Fortunately, we landed on the fort. For the next fort. Discard a card. He's on the last multi, which means he's putting his little red creature down. Ugh. 
It's your turn. Hey, this is actually really good. Um, I'm gonna put Barbarian down. And then change the terrain to fire. Warp to an unknown land. Burning Titan is an interesting creature. It's a 60 60, but. Uh, if you have five or more territories in play. It actually becomes a 30-30 in battle. Alright, I'm gonna put Brass Idol here so we can start drawing cards quicker. Discard a card. I don't know what possesses the enemy to, to get rid of Coloid. He does. Way more than he should. First, I want to show you. Eh. Salamander. HP increases for every point of damage received from fire creatures. Exclude scroll attacks. So one of the things is you paralyze it and then you attack it. Let's get rid of you. I cannot summon creatures to invade in my next round. That sucks. But actually, there's a way around that. Kinda, sorta. You can't summon a creature. Right? But if you had a creature in play... It'll be easier if I show you. A little visual. I'm so far behind. <laughs> so I can't, like, invade him. But if I had a creature here... But you can't evade by in, invade by summoning. But if I had a creature here and I landed on him, or even here, I can move him on there to attack. Right, I want the counter amulet. Actually, the counter amulet's not really gonna help me. He does have... Uh. Let's get rid of Wind of Hope. Discard a card. He's gonna gain a lot of mana right now. All right. Put Barbarian down. That's the thing, remember. It says you can't place a creature down to invade. Like, you can't summon a creature to invade. But if you place a creature down and it has immediate and can move, or you can move the creature, you're fine. nice is he actually got the six so next turn he has to discard two cards again all right I'm gonna get rid of magma avatar or armor I need to paralyze the salamander though paralyzer of spell again. You've stopped in your own territory. I'll level him up to two. Discard a card. See the cards I'm worried about are the card two card. fire cards on the left that he has. Those are scroll attacks that do 30 damage. It's your turn. Discard and a card. while it won't take Barbarian now because he's 40. He's done. 20. Uh... 
like if Burning Titan, because you see in the bottom right it says land effect plus ten. If he had five more territories and I used that scroll against him, it would kill it instantly. Because it goes by HP. <sighs> okay, uh. I'm gonna play Conspiracy, which Conspiracy. costs 50 mana. But remember, you know, there's expensive cards out there, so now anything I play is cheaper. Place the Hive Queen down and then get rid of. Get rid of Barbarian. Next time I come around. Oh, I saw that creature. Discard a card. Next time I come around, I can get a Hive Worker. That got really screwed over in, in rolling, by the way. You received a reward. Good luck on your next journey. He is done with his lap, and I'm not even halfway done. I still have to hit two more laps. Alright. Let's put down Boggart. Remember, Boggart claims double the toll value. Discard a card. Discard a card. Good, you didn't land on him. Don't kill him! Where are you, Juan? Warp to an unknown land. I'm waiting. It's your turn. Oh, good. Even though I'm rolling really bad, I can gain more Fireland. And Juan, I, I see you. Thank you for the host. It means so much. If only I wasn't getting screwed in this game. Discard a card. Discard a card. One of us. It's Can I roll decently, game? Discard a card. Warp to an unknown land. Did you have a good stream, one? Discard a card. Discard a card. Aim for the next fort. This game is not liking me today. It's your turn. He's almost Discard halfway to his second lap. And I'm still on my first. Discard a card. This, this game hates me. Oh god, this game really does hate me. Alright. I'll put him there. Oh. Discard a card. Brave song. Nice! I'm... I'm... I'm not doing too good right now. I keep rolling like twos and threes. It's your turn. Discard a card. Aim for the castle. The only good thing right now is technically Hive Worker is so close to green right there that if I can get Chariot, I can put him on there. The only bad thing is, is he has scroll cards, which can hurt. Receive the Oracle of the Gods. All that Sky Factory. It's your turn. Discard a card. Yeah, let me reincarnate. I didn't really want to, but I had nothing really. You may cast a spell again. Finally! 
upheaval. What else we got? What else we got? That's fire. I can turn that fire. We'll turn that fire. Make a mark board. We'll put down another high worker. But yeah, he he's now almost done with three quarters of his lap. The second lap, I'm still on my first one. That just goes to show you how quickly you can get screwed, depending on how your rolls go. It's your turn. You have too much. Give me. Land drain. Give me. All right. Finally, I made a lap. You received a reward. Good luck on your next journey. Discard a card. You stopped in enemy territory. It's your turn. Upheaval. Make that fire. Aim for the next fort. Level that up, yo. Okay, he's gonna get rid of one of my high workers right now. Yes, I hate that card. Magic bolt. He will magic bolt the high workers and the um for the castle. Idols. In my case, I only have brass idol. You stopped an enemy. It's your turn. Chariot. Wait a minute. Which one did you get rid of? Put you on green. Alright, so now I have the force requirement if I get anything good. idea what possesses the AI to get rid of Cole Lloyd. But it does. It's your turn. Wind of hope. Discard a card. Aim for the next fort. Discard a card. Discard a card. Man, this game does not like me today, but... Good luck on your next journey. If he rolls a 4 or a 6, I'm going to be able to use Counter Amulet. Right. Telenosis. Uh, I wasn't expecting a landing there, but one, two.
You've stopped in enemy territory. Let's have some fun, shall we? Magma Avatar versus Barbarian. What is your total HP? Prepare Only 70? Uh, I don't think I need the armor. I own a bunch, but yeah, it should be fun. That's what I thought. I, I did I did my math good. The offense vanquished the enemy. All right, so that really hurt him. Discard Just a card. Discard your damn, uh, Discard a card. scroll cards, please. <laughs> Warp to an unknown land. It's your turn. Telenosis. All right, let's see what we can do. Should be on the. Well, great. We landed there anyway. Aim for the next fort. You know what? Give me another high worker. Discard a card. You've stopped in enemy territory. It's your turn. Discard a card. Discard a card. To an unknown land. Let's place down. Let's place down Barbarian and then kill his salamander. It's paralyzed, so it's not going to cause me any issues. Hmm, I do need to up act though. I need higher strength. I really don't want to use an item. Let's just level him up. I'll attack him later. Discard a card. Oh, there goes Burnackle. Discard a card. Which is probably gonna play right now. Give a creature fog, which I usually usually paralyze that when I when I see it. You know, I did just take the high worker, but I gotta get rid of it. Feast. Give me that mana. Aim for the castle. Level that up to four. You're going at their hive worker Discard with that. A card. Or my idol. Oh, there goes idol. Warp to an unknown land. It's your turn. Land drain. Let's steal a mana from him and then carry on. We're right next to the castle. <sighs> I don't want to do anything just yet with that. 
upheaval. Okay, so he's probably gonna destroy it, and oh, he didn't attack it. An enemy, it's your turn. You received a reward. Good luck on your next journey. Aim for the next port. Warp to an unknown land. You've stopped in your own territory. Actually, I'm going to exchange you. Brave song. So he'll get 20 plus strength for a couple rounds. I could technically attack with that. But I'd rather chariot you over here. So you at least get HP boost. Funny how that worked out. You stopped in your own territory. I'll level you up too. That's basically how this this Aim for the next port. Oh, it went that way. That's basically how this book works. It's is trying to get enough fireland for uh magma avatar and coaloid. Now the funniest thing is is when you have magma armor on you. Anything is destructive. Like this high worker could take out anything he has. Aim for the next fort. Piecing or fogging? Oh, no one. He still hasn't done it though. It's I, I've time. I've played this a couple times. I played him a couple times. Oh boy. Receive oh, nice. Of the gods. I control all my territories. Okay, so he's coming this way. I don't want to upgrade any of that just yet. Let's do that. She can't be destroyed by the one card, card. scroll card. Because that just says 30, so she'd have 10 HP more. Ooh, he in trouble. Aim for the next fort. You stopped in enemy territory. Now, she, he's going to use the scroll. Oh, Lord. Prepare for battle. So, I'm just gonna use this anyway. Oh no, he didn't. Never mind. I thought he was. I thought he had his hammer. Which does a critical hit. So, this is an overkill, but 
Eh. Gets the job done, and he just took a beating. An epic beating. Ooh, this is actually the first time he was had to get rid of stuff. It's your turn. You've stopped in your own territory. Make that level four. Follow the guidance of the cards. It's your turn. Discard a card. Let's put down the other magma avatar. Now we have a four fire chain. Discard a card. Warp to an unknown land. It's your turn. Warp to an unknown land. You've stopped in your own territory. Discard a card. Give me that out. Give me that hive worker. Discard a card. It's your turn. Discard a card. Aim for the next fort. Warp to an unknown land. Let's level that up. The three. Discard. Yeah, I thought he had that, which does critical. Aim for the castle. Warp to an unknown land. It's your turn. Discard a card. Level one up to three? Or is that two? I don't remember. I wasn't looking. I think that was three. Discard a card. It's your turn. Think about a bogger. Alright, put down another hive worker. Get that fire chain going. Discard That's another thing in case you don't know. Um Fire chains only count in the areas they're in, so this is one separate area. This is its own area. Aim for the castle. Okay, I land on one of his things. What did I land on? You stopped in enemy territory. It's a 50 HP creature. On a pretty decent land. Cold it's not mine. Versus creeping flame. It's another thing like you keep these colloids for just this purpose. You land on something big, you take it from them. Not so much in the fact he didn't pass the castle yet, so his lap bonus. It's going to be even smaller now. Discard a card. You received a reward. Good luck on your next journey. It's your turn. I have anything near you. No. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move Bogart to here when I can and then chariot him over there. Unless I land on here with something like Barbarian. So I land on my Barbarian. 
Aim for the next fort. You've stopped in your own territory. Let's level this up instead. Discard a card. Okay, so he's lucky he won't land on that. Aim for the next fort. Fort to an unknown land. It's your turn. Discard a card. Work to an unknown land. What do I have? What do I have? What do I have? You've stopped in your own territory. Alright. It's gonna cost a lot to do this. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Do you? 50? Hmm. It's still gonna cost a lot. But I'm going to do it with Barbarian. He has scroll cards that can do 30 damage base and then kill it. He can't kill the Barbarian that way. Barbarian versus so Barbarian. It, this is going to cost a little bit as far as item wise. Because I'm going to use two magma shields. Or armor. One now, one next turn. Because I want that creature gone. Aim for the next fort. It's your turn. This creature, it can add fog to target territory, which cuts HP down in half, or toll B in half. So if you had something at max, like 2800, okay, now you're looking at 1400 because of Bernacle. So it costs a bit with two shields, but down now. a little bogger dude there. Make him attack it. Because he probably will. You've stopped an enemy. It's your turn. Wind of hope. But at least I got another magma shield, which will help me. Put down Barbarian, and then... He's his level? Two, three. Discard a card. Great song. Alright, he gets plus 20 strength for four turns. Past all of this. Aim for the next fort. But yeah, um counter amulet can only counter non It's your turn. Well this counter amulet can only counter non scroll. So the only way to protect from scroll is magma armor, as long as I have more than one fire creature or earth creature in play. You've stopped in your own territory. Give me another high worker. Damn. Yeah. 
Warp to an unknown land. All right, help Pyron give. Oh, there we go. Get rid. Get rid of the other one too, please. All right, it gives fire creatures plus ten strength. Discard a card. Aim for the next fort. Put down the other hive worker. You know, if you have a if you have a bunch of hive workers in play, you're doing pretty good because you're looking at ten HP and ten strength upheaval added for each hive worker in play. It's your turn. Warp to an unknown land. Aim for the castle. Down the other hive worker. Upheaval the Coaloid? Because paying for that would be expensive. I'm gonna keep those two for attacking purposes. Warp to an unknown land. He's probably gonna attack that high worker. You stopped in any he didn't. It's your turn. Uh, why am I only rolling one again? Was this the beginning of the match all over again? Damn! To an unknown land. You've stopped in it's your turn. Discard a card. Really? Warp to an unknown land. This is just like okay, he's going after Hive Worker. Magic bolt. But this is literally like the beginning again. I'm all now I'm only rolling once. He ain't actually he might go forward. He'll he'll just skip the uh fort. Luck on your next journey. Warp to an unknown land. It's your turn. Discard a card. No, 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 no. I told you one more over. Thank you. You received a reward. Good luck on your Just to show you, I paid 160 to transform this land to fire. Otherwise, it would have cost 600. That magma avatar, which is a little expensive right now, but it's going to be cheaper on my next turn. So he landed another magma avatar. Is up? Oh, he moved. It's your turn. Actually, I'm not going to play anything yet. I'm going to steal from him first. Drain. Aim for the next fort. Warp to an unknown land. Bubble that up to five. Ooh, he's Warp screwed. To an unknown land. You've stopped in enemy territory. Float this stuff. Versus so he has one of two options. This thing does do plus 20. If he used the scroll, it's gonna do 30 damage. I'm already at 40. I'm fine. I'll use the amulet.
because I knew he had the scroll and I thought there was something else and I just figured I'd rather be safe than sorry. Although he's pretty sorry he attacked me. Should have went the other way. It would have hurt a whole lot less. Yeah, this is the, the book that I created. It's a little slow starting off. But it powers through pretty quickly. If you know your opponent has scrolls, you might want to change some things. You know, you might want to add a couple more green creatures. Maybe... Maybe take out the Hive Workers, just keep the Hive Queens, add some green. Alright, I'm gonna Conspiracy. Oh, I beat- I won the game already. Never mind. Aim for the next fort. Warp to an unknown land. It's your turn. Feast. I didn't even know I was close to the 15k limit already. Warp to an unknown land. Yeah, this this is fired up. It's a little slow in the beginning. Once the wheel turns, it, it, it's hard to stop. As you can tell, there's no immediate spike up. It's one slow progressive always going up. Um... I did not pay one toll that turn. <laughs> the entire thing, I didn't, I didn't pay any tolls. I mean, I invaded five times, won them all. He invaded me twice, won none. We each had the same amount of laps, but I mean, he has zero territories now, I have 20. And I played double the spells. And a lot of those spells are super important for this book. No, we don't want to replay. Anything good. Anything I'm waiting for. Absolutely nothing. I think I only needed one change link for a book. But yeah, let's do another quick overview of this. This is, you know, the basics, the basis of Fired Up. You know, Brass Idols for drawing Barbarians for their immediate ability. Uh, Bogger for doubling the toll value, the toll value. So if his toll value is you know, 300 and something, it's 600 plus, almost 700. Uh, Coloid for Coloid and Magma Avatar for just beating the crap out of something. If it if it positively absolutely has to die, Coloid and Magma Avatar will do it. You know, Hive Queen to make Hive Workers, to populate the board, and then upheaval them into fire. And Jack-O-Lantern, you know, if they do attack it... Bonus! Actually, haven't really had them attack it. But that is the... basically the basics of... Fired Up. It's kind of like a... A magma book mixed with Fubar, which we're gonna look at actually next. Uh, I 
I guess we could probably use the same guy. I was thinking about changing the guy and changing the map, but... We should be pretty, pretty good with this book, I guess. 